Hey guys, it's Mike Vieira. It's my YouTube channel. The channel is about art. It's about drawing and painting, sculpture, still life. Um, well, today I'm going to be making a frame. So I can't afford to buy frames, so I, yeah, I need to make them myself. So this is three and a half inches. I measured it. It's three and a half inches. This is a, a one by two, I guess. But you can see that there's too much of a too much right there, it's going to hide too much of the painting. So I got another little piece just to add, just to make it, and that seems pretty good. You know, just enough of a rabbit right there that I can put the frame in. The other items you'll, you'll probably need. Wood glue. Muy importante. Wood filler. Um, the nails. Of course nails. I got... Got these little, little tiny, thin, little thin brads. So I got every clamp I could find. I know I have some more kicking around, so I have to keep on looking. But so you just need some wood clamps, and these are the three boards. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a bead of glue down, and then tack it into place, clamp it, and let it dry. And then I'm going to cut the frame out. Also, once you put glue on both sides, just push it together, then lift it up. You want to get it all, all spread out. And then we just clean these edges off later with a, a wet towel. See, I didn't put them in all the way because they will come out of the back. I did it by accident a couple times. But now I'm just going to lay a bead, bead of glue right there and put this piece on. That was hard. <laughs> Was a huge stinking mess. Look at this. Bleh. Well, I'm gonna let this dry and I'll be back later to um, make it look like a frame. This is day two. I just unclamped everything. So now I'm just gonna pull these little nails out and depending on where my cut is I might have to pull out a few more nails. So here we go again, always very important. You know, if I cut a finger, I can always get a prosthetic finger, but if I lose an eye, I won't have a functional eye. I can get a glass eye, but also power tools. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this project unless you have um, a nice miter saw or something because you need to be very accurate with your angles. If you're off by just a little bit, you'll have this annoying gap. See how I marked it? I just used a triangle to do that. There's an awesome little clamp I have. Bought it at a yard sale. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue in, in the seam and then pop a few screws in the corners. It's starting to resemble a frame. Now I just got to clean up these corners, make them look a little nicer.
So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to feather away these edges so it won't show up. You can sort of you can see it right there. So I'm outside in the alleyway right now. This is um, my studio, that building right there. But I'm in the alley. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray paint. And if it doesn't work, then I'm going to go leaf it after. But I just want to give it a, an attempt with spray paint. Damn, it's really windy out there. So now I'm going to paint the rest of the frame black and I'm just going to leave that inner lip gold. You guys remember this paint? Still got plenty of it. So just like painting a wall, you do the trim first. And then use the big brush. Well, there it is, finished. That's um, that's the painting that's going in it. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You guys will never know when I'm doing something unless you subscribe. <laughs> All right, see. You. Bye, YouTube. Atari. Atari. This is Atari. Look at that face. Look at that face. Whoop, 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 whoop. Look at that face.